So Mark learns that five years have passed since he experienced the reboot and went back in time. After coming back to his dimension, he flies back to Telescria and discovers that Terra was now with a small child instead of a toddler. Mark begins to weep about having lost precious time with his daughter and asks for her forgiveness. She forgives him and they embrace. A sad Eve embraces him too. Then, after putting Terra to bed, Mark and Eve discuss what happened during Mark's venture in time. He cries as he says that the many lives he saved are lost due to him choosing his daughter over them. Eve comforts him and then they take Terra to school and later they go to meet Alan. So Alan, who is now known as the Great Alan after he was promoted to the position of the leader of Coalition of Planets, embraces Mark and is joyous to see him. Mark asks about Oliver and Alan says that he is fine. Alan asks for Mark's help again to stop Thrag and Mark blatantly refuses because he now wants to spend time with his wife and daughter and now he is no more willing to risk his and his family's life. He goes to a party at Alan's house later and talks with Oliver. Mark watches the sky while others are mingling. Oliver asks how he is doing with Mark not recognizing him at first. When Mark eventually recognizes him, he starts to cry and Oliver confirms him. The next day, Mark and Eve go on vacation with Mark being happy to have his family back. They arrive and Mark tries to kiss Eve, but Eve reveals that she was seeing someone while Mark was gone. While talking with Eve about it, he says that he understands. Later, he tries to take Terra flying, but she gets scared. Mark later reads Terra a story. After they relax throughout the day, Mark and Eve think about what's happening on Earth since they haven't heard from Nolan in a while. They later visit Alan in the hospital after his attempted assassination. Later, Mark, Eve and Terra visit Nolan and Debbie on the moon where Mark learns that Nolan and Rex have become friends. Anissa having heard that Mark is back tries to talk with him but gets attacked by Eve and sent away by Nolan. Mark tells Eve later that he doesn't want his parents to know what she did to him. Mark briefly goes to Earth where he and his father meet up with Rex. He tells Mark all the good he has accomplished in the last five years and how everyone but Monster Girl and Monax are on his side. Rex has even managed to sway some villains such as the Mauler Twins by just giving them what they want if their desires are reasonable enough. Mark talks to his father privately in outer space where he says that he still cannot trust Rex after everything he's done. Nolan tries to convince Mark that Rex's leadership is a good thing but to no avail. Later, after saying goodbye to his parents on the moon, Mark and his family leave. Mark reflects on how strange his life has been which Eve misinterprets as him passing judgment on her affair with Kubian. Mark apologizes even though Eve says that she should apologize because she was the one who did something wrong. When they get back to their new home planet, Mark asks Eve if she wouldn't mind hiding out there forever. Before they were able to settle completely on that planet, Mark and his family are then attacked by Onan and Ursal, two of Thrag's new Thraxan Viltrumite children and the only documented pair of Viltrumite twins. Onan threatens Terra, so Mark attacks him while Eve takes off with their daughter. Mark then sees them being attacked by Ursal, so he quickly takes down Onan and flies to punch out the sister. Eve convinces Mark to take Terra as he can fly faster. Mark asks Terra to be brave while they fly very fast to get away from Onan. Terra starts to have trouble breathing, so Mark is forced to slow down and fight Onan. But Onan quickly manages to get Terra away from Mark and drops her. After she falls out of sight, Mark manages to break away from Onan and finds Eve fighting Ursal. Mark knocks her into the ground and Eve tells Mark that she thinks Terra is still alive. They manage to capture Onan and find her next to Oliver's dead body and Thrag. Mark asks Thrag to let her go and Thrag calls his bluff saying heroes don't kill. Mark surprises Thrag by killing Onan instantly and in a blind fury, 
Thrag rips Mark in half. Ursa returns to severely injure Eve before Thrag tells his daughter to let them die slowly. Once the two fly away, Eve unlocks her full powers and uses her powers to heal both herself and Mark. When they are fully healed, Mark sees Oliver's dead body and changes his mind, saying he wants to defeat Thrag once and for all. And Eve agrees with him. So after Oliver's death, Omni-Man also decides to join the battle against Thrall and Alan also prepares his coalition of the planet's fighting forces. Soon enough, the team makes preparations and move to different planets, stopping Thrag's children in the process and convincing the leaders of each planet not to join Thrag's regime. After a while, the Empire and Alan's coalition move their ships near the Sun for preparation and to perhaps get help from Robot. Soon, they spot Thrag and his children and the second Viltrumite war starts. As they all go at it, Thrag releases Ragnars, which tear through some of the adult Viltrumites. Omni-Man goes for Thrag, but it doesn't go well for him as he receives a broken hand and a hole through his chest, which got to his heart. Mark sees the sight of his father and tears through the rest of the kid Viltrumites who were occupying him. He bull rushes Thrag to the surface of the sun and the two dish it out there. During all the action, Anissa was killed by Ragnar. After a few blows were traded, they dipped inside the sun in which they actually started to burn up. Finally, with the power of courage, plot device and the help of robot's armor, Mark powers through and kills Thrag who disintegrates in the sun. And just then, Alan swoops in and grabs Mark out of the sun before the same happened to him. After Mark heals up, he talks to his dad for the final time before he tells him he needs to lead the Viltrum Empire now. Mark and Omni-Man talk for one last time and Omni-Man slowly passes away. Suddenly, Robot attacks the ship because he thinks Mark will overthrow him now that he will become the emperor of the new Viltrumite Empire. But after a great battle in which all of the remaining heroes of Earth join Invincible, Mark eventually stops and kills Rex in space, but he keeps his brain to help Immortal lead the Earth. Then, after a few days, Mark decides he will take the Viltrum Empire to different galaxies and help many civilizations. Mark then finds out about his son and talks to him about his origin. He then leaves Earth with Scott, Marky's stepfather, deciding he, Marky and his daughter will not leave Earth. Mark then takes off to the stars with the short montage of Marky being Kid Invincible. Then, after a massive time jump, the story shows where Mark's story picked up from in space. It shows all his adventures and how he helped or tried to help many civilizations. Soon, the coalition of planets try to interfere with what the new Viltrumite Empire is accomplishing and wage war on them. Mark and Alan try to talk it out but eventually leads to a scrap. Invincible is the victor with Alan conceding and agreeing that maybe the universe doesn't need the coalition of planets anymore. Later, Mark calls his daughter to check up on Eve who was dying of old age. Eve eventually passes but comes back to life due to her powers and finds out she's essentially immortal. Then, after some exposition, Marky finds Mark on an alien world where he was living and fights him. Mark's reason for attacking Mark was simple. He started by loving him for being a hero but eventually started hating him for all the complications in how he was born and left on Earth. But after fighting for a while, he eventually stops and Mark forgives him. Then, after some time, Mark and Eve stand on a balcony. He thinks back to his life on Earth when his father fought him and when his father told him, what will you have after 500 years? And giggles as he thinks of what he has now. So yeah, that's all and thanks for watching.